afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com, and I thought I would do a market review here. It's getting into 3 o'clock major reversal time, and look at this market. I mean, it's amazing. I taped the room today, and I went back and I was listening to what I said this morning, although I did remember what I said this morning about the market, but then I went back and I listened to exactly what I said about the market this morning, because when I see stocks or the market, any, anything I see in a gap, okay, which is always in the pre-market, I get such a good read on. It's like that time, that space that I am in before 9.30, whenever I get in that space, 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, 7 a.m., whatever, whenever I sit down and I'm in that space and I see the QQQs, the SPY, and any stock I'm looking at when I see a gap gain, I'm like so in touch with the, the market and the stock that I'm watching and the gap in the price action. And what comes out of my mouth, just, just whatever just comes right out of my mouth, which is an instantaneously what I see, which is just the raw Melissa Armo, actually, uh, is usually very, extremely, incredibly accurate. So what I said uh, this morning was that the market was going to hold. And the market held today. I mean, I don't even know why I'm, like, surprised at myself. Like, I mean, I read this perfectly. Like, does anyone even listen to anything I say? I mean, I don't even know if anyone, except for me, uh, really understands how incredible that I see these gaps like this. I mean, you do you have any idea how many people try to short this market today? Like, tons. Okay. First of all, it was very difficult for traders to think to go long the market today. Market trade in a very tight range. In fact, on the QQQs, from the high is 107.11 and the low is 106.74. The range for the market today is literally like 35 cents, okay? And b <laughs> traders couldn't buy this, and they were probably looking to short it, and it never, it never came in, which I said this morning. I mean, when I read the gap this morning, I said, don't expect this to go anywhere. We're not coming in. Like, I said, no matter what the market does today, we're not bearish. Don't expect this to go anywhere. I said, do not expect this to go anywhere. We never went anywhere. We held in the sky after rallying for umpteen days in here. This market is so fantastic. And what I saw this morning in the pre-market and the gap, when I looked at the market 10, 15 minutes before the open, whenever I looked at it, was exactly how the market played out today. <laughs> it was exactly how it played out today. And it's all because I know how to read gaps. I mean, that is how I'm able to see this. And the great thing, the amazing thing is that Gaps happen in the morning before 9.30. Now, some happen at night and some happen before 9.30. But either way, they're all before 9.30, whether it's at night or in the morning. So not only is it great because of the fact that it happens in time for you to decide what to do with the direction of bias of the market or a stock, it gives you time to prepare to see what to do. You know, it's like if you're reading everything on the fly of trying to get the intraday trend in something on the fly every day or trying to get it right with the market. I mean, this is what many people do. This is how many people trade. This is why many people don't don't make money trading. That's challenging. But I have like everything figured out beforehand because I'm able to read the gap because I'm able to read the gaps in stocks and the market so well here and go back and watch my market uh, call that I have in the live room because I take the live room today. The market played out exactly like I thought. And so did Fossil, actually. But really, I mean, I don't even know why I'm surprised. It's like, does anyone even listen to what I say in the room in the morning? I'm, the things that I say about the market in the room in the morning, it's just incredibly accurate. This market is higher. This market's going to do it this year, just like I said last year at the end of the year. Utter strength here. Utter strength. And well, do you know that people that are short, that are traders that are short this market have still not covered in here. I mean, it's they have still not covered in here. You know, no one should have ever been short this market. But there are traders that actually did short the market and they are still short the market. And their and their stop is like at the resistance at 108 or 110 or I don't even know. I mean here this is People are not even out of this market short yet, and the market is so definitively higher.
it, we're, we're just going to keep going. I mean, there's just, I don't even know why I'm looking at this. I'm telling you, though, I just, I'm just saying this, though, because don't be surprised, which I did say, I think, the other day in the market video, not this morning, but the other day when I just did the market call. Don't be surprised if we just continue rallying in here. Now, I'm not saying we're not going to pull back at some point. Of course we are, but I don't know where that happens. I mean, that may not happen until 110 or something, and then I don't even know what it looks like because I have to just see how we trade here and how we gap every morning. But the market held in the sky today. People made an attempt to short this. If you didn't have a great gap trade like I did this morning, you probably struggled it with because a lot of stocks do tend to trend trade with the market on the day, and the market really was neutral slash bullish today. That's how I read this market today. It's neutral slash bullish. Market didn't come in. People were expecting it to. It didn't do it. Market didn't really make a new high today. Well, it did buy three pennies, but it really, the market just held neutral slash bullish. But th that's bullish. I mean, it's bullish because of the look of the chart. This is what I'm trying to say. This market is incredibly strong. It's going to continue. It's going to continue all of 2015, barring unforeseen circumstances like wars or calamities. The market will continue higher, and shorts have not covered here. I just haven't still even given up on it yet. So what a great call I made in this gap this morning because it was challenging to read, but it's just like what the first thing comes out of my mouth as soon as I see price, I can read it. As soon as I see the gap, I just know, boop, there it is, and I just say it. And so I did, and we held. We held all day here. We're going to hold into the close. It's almost 3 o'clock. What we do here in the next 60 minutes doesn't even matter. The market is strong. I don't know where we got tomorrow morning. Nothing would surprise me. Whether we get down, neutral, up, who knows? I'll see you tomorrow morning when I get up. But there's two more trading days left this week. So that is a lot of time for the market to do something else this week. I'll tell you that. Uh, I just won't know until I see the actual gap. So have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in information about signing up for the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next Golden Gap class is February 21st and 22nd. You know what's amazing is that I am so in touch with reading price action and gaps. It's not just reading price action, it's reading price action and gaps. Like I said, which I read in the morning. Let's just take this off here. I can show you this was this morning. Here, let me just get rid of this here. This is all in the morning. This is what the market was doing. It's just lingering here in the morning. I did not have a full sleep last night. The amazing thing is I still made incredible calls today. Every call I made today in the room followed through, called the market accurately, nailed Fossil, and there's only one person in the planet that knows this, but I literally did not have an entire night's sleep last night. And on top of that, I have been fighting, you know, this cold thing, although I feel better today. So on a lack of sleep and, you know, feeling a cold, I traded accurately today with incredible precision. And it's really because I'm just so in touch with gaps in the market. It's like just comes so naturally to me. I just see something and I just know exactly what it's supposed to do and I know exactly what it should do and I know exactly what it's going to do and I, I know exactly what it needs to do in order to do this. I know the targets, I know the entries, I see the direction of biasing. It's just, I am just one with price action and gaps in the market. Whether it's the QQQs, the SPY, whether it's stocks, whether I have a full night's sleep or not, uh, it, it just, it is just, I am part of my being actually now. And I have been trading for seven years, but in the scheme of things, it's really not that long of a time. It's long enough uh, that I've gained maturity and experience as a trader. But in the overall scheme of things in life, it's really not that long of a time. But it just goes back to the original thing that I've been teaching people. Get good at something. Get really, really good at something. And really, it is gaps. Look, this market is going to try to make a new high here to the close. Look, look at this. Wow. Uh, it's Day trading, if you're going to be a day trader, anyways. Mark is going to try to make a new high here into the close. Wow, it's 3 o'clock. Ay, ay, ay. We are. We are going to. We're going to make a new high over yesterday's high into the close. 
as I'm seeing this here. Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, if you want to be a day trader, it's about chunking it out. So you chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. It's not about just staying in things forever and ever and ever and doing a million trades all day long. You get the move, you get the momentum move, you get the money move, and you chunk it out and you're out. That's it. Your day is done. I mean, that's the proper way to trade. Otherwise, it becomes very stressful, tedious, long. You do what you do and you're out. And if you're in swing trading or core trading overnight, you shouldn't be sitting and looking at your, at your trades every day anyways. You look at your position, manage your position in the morning, do what you have to do, and then get on with your day. So day trading is about playing the momentum moves, and they happen in the morning in gaps. That's the way to be consistently profitable. This back and forth, back and forth that people do is why they don't find consistency and profitability. So I really, I really have something special here, which I've always known. I've known it for a long time, but I really, really just nailed everything today and didn't even have a full night's sleep. And I, it's just, I just realized that I, it's just, it's just a part of me reading gaps. It's just who I am. And the market's going to make a new high under the close. It's really going to. 107.20, 107.25-ish, 107.50, 108. I, I, I wouldn't put it past the market to do anything here. The market could run up a dollar in the next hour, literally. I just see here, I'm just watching this. I'm just seeing us do this. So if you'd like to learn how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at thesockswish.com. Again, the next class is February 21st and 22nd. The price of the class is going up as of March 1st to $34.99. You can sign up and pay and register for the class prior to March 1st and do the class in March. I'm just letting everybody know that this is the last class this weekend before the price increase. Otherwise, you're signing up for the class the last week of February, and you can do it later this year if you choose to. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.